Hello everyone. In this video, we will be solving word problems on exponential growth and exponential decay. Before we go over this first example that we have right here, let's have a review on the basics of exponential growth and exponential decay. We remember that the general formula for exponential growth or exponential decay is y equals a quantity b raised to the power x, where our y here refers to the final amount or the final value. Our a here is the y-intercept. This means that this is the value of y when x is zero, or pretty much this is the initial value or this is the initial amount. Well, the B here has two cases. It depends on whether it's exponential growth or exponential decay. So if it's an exponential growth, the B here is actually equal to 1 plus R, where our R refers to the growth rate. Well, on the other hand, if it is an exponential decay, the B value that we have here would be equal to 1 minus R, because again, the R is the rate of decay. And then the X value that we have here refers to the number of time periods. So pretty much this equation that we have right here can be written in two ways depending on whether it's exponential growth or exponential decay. So pretty much exponential growth, that would be y is equal to a, then the b becomes 1 plus r raised to the power x. Now if we have an exponential decay, our equation would come out y equals a, the b becomes 1 minus r raised to the power x. Okay, going back to the example that we have right here, the value of a house in 2021 is 250,000 and its value increases 3% every year. How much is the value of this house in 2030? So what are we going to do now is we determine what are the given in this problem. So I'm just going to write that on the side here. So the first given that we have is this um, 250,000. This is actually the initial value. So I'm just going to write that as A. Again, remember, A is the initial value. So that is 250,000. Now, we also have another given right here. We have 3%. So this refers to the growth rate. So then we can go ahead and say that our R is 3%. Now, we remember that this R should be expressed in decimal. So we can do that by moving the um, decimal point two places to the left. So if, if we go move that two places to the left, so that would be 1, 2. So then we put the decimal point right there. We add a 0. So then we can go ahead and say that our R is actually 0 0.03. Or you can actually um, divide this by 100. So pretty much if you divide 3 by 100, that gives us the decimal version of the um, 3%. So that we can go ahead and um, determine other given values that we have here. So our um, number of time, which is the X, which is referred to as the number of time periods, is from 2021 to 2030. So that's actually the X here is actually 9. So you can go ahead and subtract 2030 minus 2021. And so that's 9 right there. So that from here, we can go ahead and... Um, figure out whether or not this is an example of exponential growth or an exponential decay. So just by looking at this word problem that we have here, it says that it increases. So when we say it increases, then we go ahead and say that this is an example of an exponential growth. Going back to the two formulas that we have here for exponential growth and exponential decay, we are going to use this equation right here. Since again, it says increases, it tells us that this is an exponential growth. So we can go ahead and write the equation y, which is the value that we wanted, or this is the final value that we want, and that is equal to a, and then we have um, 1 plus the growth rate raised to the power x. So all we need to do is just to plug values in. So we go ahead and say our a is 250,000. So I write that um, up here, that's 250,000 times 1 plus our R is 0 
So that's 0 0.03 raised to the power, our x is 9. So I put the 9 there as an exponent. So then we go ahead and simplify this. This would come out 250,000. And then if we add these two together, that would come out 1 point that's going to be 0 0.03 raised to the power 9. And if we are going to use a calculator on this, this would come out 326 thousand one hundred and ninety three and thirty cents so pretty much this is the value of this house which initially is two hundred and fifty thousand in 2021 and it's going to come out this value in 2030 provided that the increase is um constant to be three percent at this time, I would encourage you to pause this video and try this problem out on your own. And when you're done, unpause it and check your answer. Okay, so we go over the problem here. The population of an endangered bird is 1,700. Suppose the population goes down by 1.5% every year. What is the population of this endangered bird after six years? So then we go ahead and write the given right here. So there are values that are given to us. The first one is this 1,700. That is the initial number of birds. So that means that's the value for A. So 1,700. And then um, we also have a 1.5% here. So then this represents the um, rate. So R is equal to 1.5. We remember that we're supposed to change this to decimal by moving two places to the left. So that's one and two. Or the other way to do this is we divide 1.5 by 100 and that gives us 0 0.015. So that we can go ahead and um, determine the x. So it says here in the problem that it, uh, it has to be in six years. So I go ahead and write six for this. Again, we remember that the x represents the number of time periods. So then we're now ready to solve this problem. So again, there are two cases, exponential growth and exponential decay, and their equations are different. Since we say that in this problem right here, it went down, so it goes down. This tells us that that is an example of an exponential decay. So then we go ahead and use this equation right here. So that would be y equals a parentheses 1 minus r raised to the power x. So all we need to do now is to plug the values in. So then um, we remember that our y here is the final amount or the final value. In this case right here, this is the value of, uh, I mean, this is the number of birds after six years. So that would be a is 1,700. And then we have a 1 minus the rate is 0 0.015. So 0 0.015 raised to the power, the, um, the value for x here is 6. So I put the 6 up yeah. here as an exponent. So then we can go ahead and say that that is 1,700 times 1 minus 0 0.015 is 0 0.985. Again, that's raised to the power 6. So then we can go ahead and... Um, do the math here, the value for this. We're going to round this off to whole numbers since we're talking about number of birds. So this would be 1,553 birds. So this is this will be the number of birds after six years provided that the, um, the rate of decay is at constant 1.5% every year. Did you get the same answer as this? Good. If you find this video helpful, hit like and subscribe for more math videos. See ya!